Danger, Will Robinson. Danger, Danger. no, Will Robinson. short that is. I mean, has that been ground down to nothing? This comes out. Just wiggle it, I can slick it out. Yeah. And, whoa. No, the bump stop's actually bigger, but look. Look at everything that comes out. That's the unit. Yeah, that looks like it's working. Okay, all right, cool. Uh, I reckon we could salvage that uh, bump stop yet. All right, see how it has a, a lip? So the lip can get pushed down and in, and then you just get all this nastiness. The top bit comes off, it's all one piece, right? So this is why this conversion is important to document because this has nothing to do with the reality of the suspension out there or any of these other cars. It's like something. Yeah. Danger Will Robinson. Even the spring like has a weird kind of thing on it. Fan dangly do, because it has a little heat. Oh, maybe that's what it was. It was a heat shrink tube. Cut towards yourself. That's always good. Because then, you know where the blade's going to go. Like, look at that. So that's the spring. It's wider than the E34 ones. Like the diamond. if we can bridge the gap to center it that'll be welded in later that means I can use E34 stuff instead of having to deal with all this stuff which is like it's not even 28535 it's not even some people say it's M6 but maybe maybe not it's kind of a joke now because they're just like oh yeah let's make a let's make a fruit salad out of a car or a car out of fruit salad. That's better. It gives you the little number, but I'll press enter and it gets big. So I don't I don't want to go out to infinity on the decimal points. And we're gonna coat it, and then we're gonna get it on the ring roller. I got a ring roller. Yep, you heard right. I got myself a ring roller. Um, this was an exciting part of it. I had gone through several different concepts and iterations of how I was actually gonna bridge the gap. 
Um, one of the first ideas was, you know, either cannibalizing another type of strut top mount and using that, um, cannibalizing the actual strut tops in the car on the chassis. So, oh, so close. And that would have involved cutting holes in the chassis and changing things, but thankfully this kind of just popped into my head. There's no real information anywhere about, you know, converting these, the old self-leveling systems into, you know, a more readily available one. So now I've got the E34 spring in there, um, took it over to my mates and welded it up so that now I've essentially gotten a serviceable head um, and just needed to clean them up and paint them and work on the bush on the inside. It's this one. See that? There's the number. I'll put it in the description. Ironically, it's for a monster. So I spent several hours uh, combing through the Super Pro website and after taking measurements and figuring out inside and outside diameters, I finally found this one, which, like you heard, comes out of a Mazda. It's really interesting kind of seeing kind of the cross, you know, of uh, some of these parts and effectively um, and serendipitously what we've got here now is a fully serviceable top hat so if the bush ever goes bad I just have to get another one press out the old one and put in a new one and same thing with the, the actual mount that goes on the spring I was so chuffed like you don't understand how over the moon I was about getting these to the right size and like that they just fit absolutely perfectly there are also these paper gaskets that um, lived on the top of the strut tops I just got some gasket paper to recreate some um, one of the struts actually didn't have it so I don't know where it went during the manufacturing process and just hole punch and you got a new set I mean rubber is made out of petroleum so you want to get it back to life to a certain degree uh, you put petroleum. So what I do is I slather it in Vaseline uh, and then I use a heat gun and I warm it up till it's you know hot to the touch but not like melty. These are Milstein V8s for the rear uh, for E28. Um, they're good for lowering. There's the boot and the bump stop and little cup. I had to um, put them in first before I compress the spring because I with the first actual spring um, ended up pinching and then I had to bend it uh, there's the bottom support um, there's three different lines there so you can actually do a little bit of height control there's the new fancy serviceable st top strut mount um, and then really it's just about aligning everything yes so that won't actually go through the top of the top hat. Nah. Put that on top. Get this on there. Switch the Direction Essential. Here. That this and this are seated. There you have it, a completed replacement for the self-leveling system. Uh, this will also work if you've got uh, an E34 with the self-leveling where the components are separate and you just want to change it out. Yeah. Does anyone show up? You didn't think I'd just ditch you. Alright, so there's our new beautiful strut top. Um, uh, these particular ones, these nuts in the back, they're um, cone lock, which means they're, they're oblong, so you know, they have a little shape to them. really like that beautiful little super pro love it <laughs>